Hi there guys and welcome to another Blowdump episode. In today's episode, we're going to be doing estuary cob fishing. So yeah, we're going to explain the tackle that we use, the hooks that we use, the live bait, uh, the octopus leg, all the different kind of tackle. And we are here at the estuary. But the first thing that we are going to do is show you how to get live bait. So we've got a cast net with us. And then all that we are doing is we're throwing, we're just munching up a pulchet. And then throw it about, I'd say seven, eight meters away from shore. And uh, that way it attracts the fish and you jump for the fish. And uh, yeah, so there's our bucket of pulchets. And you just mush it up a little bit and then you throw it away. Okay, I'm fishing with Quentin again today. We are on his little cabin boat. Uh, it's the same boat that we used for the episode that we fished the Grunt in Niza. So yeah, we go. I'll, I'm gonna try and get the drone in the air when he casts the, the, the net. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get a couple of mullet. Then we can show how to bait with mullet. And we can. Uh, we've got octopus leg with us. And uh, yeah, hopefully tonight or during the evening somewhere we'll hook up with a nice size cop that we can show that for you as well. So after struggling about for two hours or so, we have finally managed to locate the mullets or the harders, or the liveys, whatever you want to call them. So we'll throw back the other ones and we'll only keep the harders. Okay, so yeah, it seems like we're getting there now. Yeah, I can show you. There. There's a couple of liveys in there now. There's Quentin's little boat. There's what's left of our chum. And yeah, so um, we're actually getting there. Maybe one or two more, but uh, close to have enough live bait in there. Okay, as you can see, it's also getting a little bit darker now. Okay, so guys, we've got our live bait now. Um, I'll show you in the morning. Quentin's all set up here with his inverter and his live bait and bulge pump and everything. And then uh, let me know 
if you want more info on everything that it uses but i'll show that to you in a minute but it's going to show us now how to bite up um uh using live bait on in an estuary so here you can see we've uh, got when i talk us to the gear what the gear daiwa daiwas daiwas all daiwas with braid or a nylon uh, nylon. nylon and um, the reels is also the the rods is also daiwa rods uh, yeah this, this is what he uses what well, the the line strength what up um, that's about 10 kilograms 9.40 point, point 0.40 line for 38 on the daiwa line and point 0.40 on the point three eight on daiwa line point 0.40 on kingfish eye abrasion no, 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 per -long. Per -long. Okay, and then gonna the leader that you're using, what uh, uh about a 16, kilo, 16 kilogram maxima. Sixteen kilogram green maxima. I've showed you the brown one. The brown one. I've showed you those maximas before. <clears throat> but we're gonna show you how how he sets up everything. And uh, the length of the leader and the size of the hook. And the fusion hooks, and we'll show you everything. I just okay. So, who Quinn is going to show us now? What is it? At a, um, what needle is that, Quinn? Oh, it's just a no, normal thread leaf ne um, needle that I've I made into a Catalina oh. needle. Okay, so now Quinn uses Catalina. This is braided line um, that he ties up in little hoop like that, and uh, then he's going to show us now. Uh, what he does with uh, these, your little mullet. Just above the eyes, there's no nerve point, uh, points there. So just above the eyes and you can just pull it through. Come through on the other side. And I use a you can 5 see. fusion hook. This hook is slightly rusted, but it's still fine. Then you just basically wind it up and you put the hook underneath. Dagron. Okay. See, and now your hooks it nice and proud. Usually they don't bleed like that, but it must be a little bit of a nerve there or a vein. But um, yeah, you can Okay, and, and then how long is your leader line? 70, 80 centimeters, but a little bit longer? Yeah, a little bit longer. Depending yeah. on what depth you, you're fishing at. Okay, so it's going to run about a 70, 80 centimeter leader line of, he said, um, the brown maxima. And then he's got to run about a two ounce, three ounce sinker on. Shortish sinker, uh, sliding sinker, Quinta? Yeah, sliding. Using a sliding sinker. Okay, and there's the first line in the water. Um, we're going to quickly put in all the lines and then uh, let's see if we can catch one of those big estuary cobs. I'll show you a bait presentation on the octopus leg when we do that. Okay, so here we've got a bait presentation of. Uh, octopus leg, it's a medium sized octopus so we've cut it in, in four parts so now he's gonna build a little place for the hook to set a 5-0 Berkeley hood uh, fusion fusion hooks, fusion hooks yeah. fusion circle hook and uh, like you can see he's building with cotton with bait cotton he's building a little place there for the um, hook to so that he can set the hook nicely it's, so you can, you can see just a single look nice and proud through the top of the octopus leg and that is again on maxima um, 70 80 centimeter leader line 60. 60 that one's a little bit shorter on a kilogram. 16 kilogram yeah. um, six, 70 80 centimeters and two ounce sliding sinker trace and there's a, yeah, there's a very beautiful bait and that's going to bring in a lovely cob okay so we've got octopus leg uh, we've got a small octopus hole in then we've got a livey in and now we've got that half octopus in and on the other rod we're also going to put a, a livey so that's the four rods that we're going to fish with Okay, so Kona decided he's going to show us another way how to do um, a live bait, and that's with a cable tie. what you do. Okay, so what you basically use here, you use a piece of dagron, about a one and a half centimeters long, you burn the edges, 
and then you push it through the hook and then you use a small cable tie and basically just push the cable tie through the eyes and um, then you push this through the little loop and you basically just tie up your cable tie There you have it. It was nice and Oop, proud. Sits nice and proud. Okay, so that's another way that you can uh, tie your live bait on. And uh, yeah, the reason that we do that is we don't want anything to obstruct the, the fish from uh, breathing, so we don't put anything in his mouth. And in any other way that you hook him behind the fins or on the tail, doesn't matter. It's all. Um, he's gonna. We, you want to keep his head into the stream, so. You want something in front of his, his uh, in front of his head so that he can swim upstream. As soon as he tries swimming downstream with a hook, he's like being foul hooked. So he will only swim that long with a with a hook in his body and uh, try and swim up current and uh, everything will will um, make it difficult for him to survive and uh, to swim. So that's why we want to keep something close to his head so that he can keep his head into the stream. Uh, when you're fishing, obviously your rods are going downstream. So yeah, that's uh, the reason that we try and fish with something through his eyes and not through his mouth because that will also obstruct his breathing. So unfortunately I was asleep but Quinn just caught a nice very very nice kobe. Oh, so there you have a beautiful dusky cob and there you can see the live bait still alive. Then that was the one that, hey hello that was the one with the uh, cable tie on it. Okay, so our first fish is on board. So at least we've got some fish to eat. Okay, so guys, yeah, this is a very, very nice official we've got on here, um, on a live bait. So you can see there the head shakes, taking line, um, yeah, taking my time with this one, I don't want to rush it. Um, this is on a pushing tide, pipes are coming in nice and out, just about, say, two hours after the water turn. Normally the fish start feeding better um, in estuaries just after the tide's turn, but your best time is actually uh, on high tide, it's actually your best time. It's a better fish. It's our second fish of the night. Okay, 
Okay, there's our second copy of the night. This one is also going to the pan. It is Easter weekend and uh, I have some fish that I need for family that's coming over on Sunday. So yeah, this is a very beautiful fish. A very nice eating size fish. Uh, this one was on live bait as well. Yeah, second one on live bait. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's quickly get that line back in the water and uh, hopefully we can put a, back, a couple back now. Good morning guys, um, and yeah, after a very nice evening on the estuary, um, we've caught two beautiful cop, and uh, like I showed you, we caught one, we caught both of them on live bait, one with the uh, cable tie method, Catalina, and the other one with the uh, braid method. So yeah, there's two methods, and we showed you how to hook up an octopus leg or a whole octopus. So yeah, there's a couple of new techniques if you haven't done it before. And uh, yeah, that's um, nice estuary fishing. It is Easter Sunday today, so we are off. We're going to have some very, very nice cob, fresh cob um, on the braai for Easter. So I hope you guys have a lovely weekend. And uh, yeah, please subscribe to the channel, like and leave a comment. Thank you very much, guys.